Today the topic of discussion is SQL equijoin. Prior to this, we have completed cross join, natural join, self join, and now we are concentrating on equijoin. Let's see what is equijoin. As the name suggests, it is done when theta join uses equivalence condition. What is theta join? A theta join is nothing but you represent it like this, and on theta and on theta it could it could have anything. This is the join symbol and this is the theta symbol and this theta could be anything. It could be less than, it could be less than equal to, it could be greater than and it could be only equal to. But when we use only equal to condition, then we you are using equijoin. That, that is what it is done when theta join uses only equivalence condition. When theta join uses only equivalence condition, then that is called what equijoin. Fine. Okay. Equijoin is the most difficult operation to implement in RTBMS. So it's one of the difficult, but I'll make you one of the easiest. Definitely make it sure. An inner join or equijoin is a comparator based join. If I talk about inner join or I talk about equijoin, both are comparator based join, which uses equality comparison. So if I talk about inner join, if I talk about equijoin, they both use what equality comparator. Okay. In inner join predicate fine if you use other comparison like less than greater than then it cannot be equijoin so equijoin only uses equal condition now you must be thinking if we talk about natural join we, we did same we did actually same so what is different between equijoin and natural join in natural join also uh, there was equality condition so what is the difference see the difference difference between equijoin and natural join is that in natural join equality is used in common column in order to apply natural join you must have a, one common column in both the table but in equijoin equality can be on any column fine so this is the main difference if somebody asks you what is the difference between natural join and equijoin so in order to perform natural join two table must have at least one common column and we perform equality on that common column but in equijoin we do not bother of equality on common column equality can be on any column fine uh, let's see <clears throat> further here we have two tables one is student and one is intern so student table has three columns role name and country that is role number one is of john and is in us two is in smith on australia three is of chain and in canada and if i talk about intern it's role number one is doing course mba and his intern location is us this means what student has applied for intern location that is john who was uh, having a role number one and living in a country US has applied for intern and on applying he got MBA intern in MBA and and what country he got he got US fine okay and if I talk about <clears throat> Smith he was in Australia when he applied uh, he was doing BTEC so he got uh, intern location in Japan and if I talk about Shane Shane who was in Canada when he applied he actually was doing MTech and he got the internship location in Canada. Okay, fine. Okay, so based on these values, one question will come. See the question. Find the role name of student who got internship in their own country. Generally, we are concerned about if we are generally we are concerned to get uh, internship in our own country. So if we love to live in our own country, so this is the query now. Find the name and role number of those students who got internship in their own country. So one table was having information of role number and name and another table was having information of what? Role number and uh, uh, internship location. And so see this two table. Then see, see this query and before this query, I show you the table. These are the two tables and see the query now. The query is, student select student dot role i want role number of a student that's why i've used student dot role if i want role number of intern then i'll be using intern dot role comma name why not a student dot name because as i've already told you many times that name is not common in both the table so something which is not common will definitely be understood that we are talking of a student table so instead of writing student dot name it's is simply you can write name but what if 
the two table have same column name name and name in that case you need to specify since here role is in both the table and we want role of student then we have specifically explicitly set specified that student dot role fine from student comma intern what is this cross join i've already told you many times that any join any join is what cross join plus some condition some condition fine so this is what told so before doing any join we apply what cross join so what we are doing we are cross joining these two tables where and after that we are applying that where student dot role equal to intern dot role intern dot role and student dot country equal to intern dot country this is what actually we require we want the uh, role number and name of those student who got intern in their own country so what will compare what student country should be equal to intern country and the student name role number should be equal to intern role number this is what exactly the query is let's see the first part cross join student cross join intern i'll not tell you the cross now because i've already told you many times i told you in cross join i told you in natural join i told you in self join so if i keep on explaining this cross join i'll never be able to complete my, the topic fine so this table has three rows this table has three rows so finally cross join has nine rows fine nine rows okay so <clears throat> let's see now let's see what what the condition is that and now we'll apply the condition cross join is done we apply this. where student dot role equal to intern dot role student dot role equal to intern dot role and student dot country equal to intern dot country fine so this call row is satisfying i'll select this row student dot role is equal to in no this is not satisfying i'll simply cross it student dot role equal to int no it's not satisfying fine student dot role is equal to intern dot role no finally first condition is not satisfied student dot role equal to yes in student dot role equal to intern dot role and then student dot country equal to no no one condition is satisfied but second is not satisfied i'll cross this student dot role equal to intern dot role no two is not equal to three will cross it will not check the next condition student dot role equal to intern dot role no student dot role equal to intern dot role no student dot role equal to intern dot role yes student dot country equal to intern dot country yes fine so what what is the answer the answer is that finally the two row got selected so if i talk about the answer so what is what am i doing now is that on stood on this cross join we are applying this condition so finally we are getting only two things that is one is john who is who was with who was in country us and got internship in us itself and shane who was in canada got internship in canada itself fine but what we are interested in finding only role number and name not all the columns so what finally the answer will be what so this will be the answer so this will be the answer fine so this will be the answer so no need to worry this is the answer so this was all theoretical let's start with some practical application so let's start some practicality okay so i show you in my table okay now i have two tables i'll show you i have table student fine i've already shown you one two three john jasmine and shane us australia and canada that is Role number one is in US. Role number two is in Australia. And role number three in Shane. And if I talk about one more table, table is intern. The intern is again a role, course name, and internship location. That is role number one who is doing MBA got US location for internship. Two who was doing BTEC got Japan, and three who was doing MTech got Canada. <clears throat> Fine. Okay. Let's move further. Okay. Now what we'll do? We'll apply. equi join and how we apply equi join uh i have already applied everything so i'll not waste the time i'll not waste the time okay fine so this is what i told you select student dot role fine comma name fine from what student comma intern this means what will cross join it first where student dot role equal to intern dot role and student dot country equal to intern dot intern location the moment we run it what we get that is john and shane are two person who got their internship in their own country because john was in us and role number 1 got intern in us itself 
two was in australia but two got in japan so two is not selected three was in canada got internship in canada so three is selected finally so this was uh, the answer so at last what i'll say tell me what i'll say i'll say what i'll say thank you thank you so much